Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Guy Guy. A bit today with a little bit of a vlog video. Um, so I'm going to talk about a little bit about what I've been playing recently and uh, some uh, changes that I'm making to my gaming schedule. Um, I want to start off by saying that I've actually played some Overwatch 2 now. The servers, when it first came out, they had some issues. Um, unfortunately, this is pretty commonplace now. It seems like when a game comes out, especially an online game, there's always some issues. Um, I don't think it was Blizzard's fault directly. You know, apparently there was a, a, a hack attack or something. Um, whoever does that sort of stuff, I don't know what purpose it serves for you. Maybe you just want to see other people misery. I think there's enough misery going on in the world right now without people trying to just ruin someone's experience. Um, but the servers are up and running now, so Blizzard, I thank you. Um, honestly, I'm going to start off by saying that I think Overwatch 2 is definitely bringing back a lot of memories for me. I think going free to play um, was a smart move by, um, you know, Blizzard. I think, yes, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people might be a bit pissed off because, you know, it's, it's Battle Pass and Paywall. Um, and the heroes, if you're free to play, you can't, you don't have the heroes straight away. Um, but they're all unlockable, you know, it's nothing, you know, stupid. You know, you, you can't, you have to buy each individual hero. That's how I thought it was going to be, but it's not. Just unlock the heroes by playing matches. So I'm like, okay, that's not too bad for me. Um, am I going to invest in the Battle Pass? Probably not right now. Um, but I'm going to do like one day where I play some Overwatch 2 and then one day where I play my single player game. Um, just that way I'll get the best of both worlds. Um, it is nice to be able to go back and re-experience Overwatch um, in a new light. You know, the changes they've made are, are um, enough for it to feel like it is a new game. But at the same time, it still plays and feels like Overwatch 1, you know, the new heroes, the new reworks, um, the 5v5, the new maps, um, the new layout and everything, feels fresh enough um, that, you know, it does feel like a huge update, I'd say it's like not Overwatch 2, but Overwatch 2.0 essentially, um, you know, it's like a rever revamped version of Overwatch, which, you know, I'm not mad at, you know, I, I still think, you know, it's it, it feels, um, you know, fresh enough, and I'm enjoying what I've played a bit, um, albeit, yes, it is a bit annoying now, because, you know, it's free to play, which means anyone can play it, you know, and it does mean that you are going to get a lot of new players, and people that haven't played it before, so, if you are a hardcore Overwatch player, like I was, you put thousands of hours into the first game, you are going to find that, you know, you might struggle a little bit because you're going to find a lot of people who are new to the game. And, you know, I don't mind helping people who are new to the game, but it, it can be kind of um, annoying, you know, if you just want to play to win. Um, but like I said, I've enjoyed what I've played of it so far. I like the 5v5. Um, you know, you might think one player doesn't make a difference, but 5v5 versus 6v6, Definitely seeing some different types of comps here. The reworks are fresh. You know, I do like the new reworks and that. Um, especially Bastions. I think I'm so glad they finally got rid of that Bastion locking it down in a corner. Um, you know, Rissa's rework. Out of all the heroes I've played as so far, I still think Junker Queen is Moi Picante. Absolutely amazing. I'm, I, I absolutely love her. She's just so cool. Um, love her abilities. You know, so strong as a tank um you know I, i'm enjoying it you know and it's nice to go back and re-experience overwatch in a new light um i am a bit pissed off because you know we haven't got that single player you know co-op mode that we thought we were going to get um but that should hopefully come within the next couple of months you know they said that possibly you know by next year we should start to see some of that so um I'm, I'm happy with what i've played a bit let me know in the comments below do you play overwatch 2 um let me know if you want to play some overwatch 2 sometimes i don't really play as much as i used to um my gaming schedule is is, is, is not as big as it used to be and unfortunately it's only going to go down from um come december um but i'm i'm happy with it you know i'm glad to enjoy the game and uh you know go back and play something else um, speaking of playing something else, I um, also played some uh, some of the newer Star Wars Battlefront 2 game, and 
Um, you know, I played it. I, I, that was another game that I used to play with my friend quite a bit. Unfortunately, the game got a lot of hate when it came out um, because of the, you know, the whole um, the issues with the paywall and everything. But I think, yeah, the game is, is dead now. You know, I think it's not not dead. People are still playing it, but they're not updating it anymore. There's no new versions of the game coming out or anything like that. Never fucking fails, does it? Always when I'm doing a video, I fucking get a phone call. Um, yeah, so, but I still think, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was shit on, you know. It just, I think the game's a lot of fun, you know. It's, it's a game that I can just go back, you know, and just do some instant action. Um, I'm probably going to do a video talking about what I would like to see if they did a Star Wars Battlefront 3. I don't think they are, but, you know, it could surprise us, they could surprise us. Um, maybe I'll do a video talking about what I'd like to see if they did a Star Wars Battlefront 3 um, and, and see what that's all about um, so yeah and then um, so tonight I'm actually going to start Dragon Ball Z Kakarot um, just letting you know you can get it on Xbox for like £12 now it's a good it's a good way of getting it now because the next gen upgrade is coming out soon um, so if you've already got a copy of it, digital or physical, you'll get a free upgrade anyway. So you can save yourself a bit of money on having to buy if you've got a Series X or a S um, or a PS5. Get yourself Dragon Ball Z Kakarot now for for twelve quid before it goes back. The next gen version comes out and they're charging like forty, fifty quid for the game again. Um, I want to play something a bit different now um, because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting burned from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Something about Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's just not pulling me in as much as Odyssey did. Maybe it's because Odyssey was more open and, you know, there was lots of different places to explore. And, you know, because of all the different islands and you could have this huge map you could go to. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe I preferred the combat. Um, I don't think Valhalla is a bad game. I, I'm not hating the game or anything like that. I just think it's not as... Um, you know, there it's not there enough for me to go. You know what I want to put um this amount of time into it. It's more condensed, so you know because it's more condensed in in one area. Because it's more condensed in one area, you know, it just sort of feels like you know when you're doing the exploration, you're just finding the same things and going over and over. And I'm not hating it. I just think it's time to take a break from Assassin's Creed. Um, you know, when I put over 140 hours into Odyssey and now I put nearly 50 hours into Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I think it's time to go away from that. You know, like I said, play Overwatch one day and then the next day I'm going to play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot tonight. Play something more action orientated a bit more you know fast paced and, and and see if i enjoy it i've heard um mixed reviews on dragon ball z kakarot um my brother who's a huge dragon ball z fan said that the game is, is good it's a little bit rough around the edge he said the boss fights are really good though um like i said because i've recently got all of the dragon ball stuff now on dvd and things um maybe it's time to refresh my dragon ball z memory and play some Dragon Ball Z games. Let me know in the comments below what's your favourite Dragon Ball Z game. Mine has to be Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai Chi 3. Love that game. Um, I was a bit disappointed it wasn't on my modded PS3, but I believe there's a way of me being able to get it. Um, there is a way that I can actually download it onto my modded PS3. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to do that, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll. I was thinking about it the other night and going, you know what, maybe I should actually look into trying to do this and seeing if I can get it. Um, because I've been in the mood to play something like Dragon Ball Z recently. So, um, I know Xenoverse 2 is obviously also on the uh, game pass as well. Um, but I, I want to play something more single player orientated, um, and see what Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's all about. Um, you know, so we'll see what it's all about tonight and, and see if I uh, get some enjoyment out of it. Um, taking a break from Assassin's Creed. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Do you get burned from playing a game too much? Um, I, I, that's one of the reasons why I stopped really playing online games, you know, because it was always the same thing, you know, and I get frustrated and stuff. But so I, I haven't felt like that with Overwatch 2. Maybe, like I said, doing it one day on, one day off. 
I won't get the burn from playing it every now, you know, doing the same thing all the time. Um, it's time to maybe shake it up a little bit, get Assassin's Creed off the brain and play something a bit different and, and try some new stuff again now and um, maybe take a break from these sort of open world RPGs, games that I spend a lot of time into and just play something more, you know. I know obviously Jungle Ball Z Kakarot is an open world RPG, but it's not as, you know, in depth as say, you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and, and that is. So, um, like I said, this is a goodbye Assassin's Creed. This is Smell You Later. Um, um, but like I said, you know, Assassin's Creed, um, I know a lot of people be like, well, do you really want to do that? You know, because obviously it's only on PlayStation Plus, but that could be taken down, you know, at any point. I think it will get taken down at some point um, because Ubisoft Plus um, will be coming out on console. There hasn't been a confirmed date, but that's part of uh, part of the reason why all of the Assassin's Creed games are on PlayStation Plus and some of them are on Game Pass. It's because Ubisoft had a little uh, deal with Microsoft and Sony say, look, here you go, you can get some of our Ubisoft Plus games on your services. Um, but I think it's more of an understanding of, you look, you can have them on your services, but when we bring out our service, we will be taking them back from you guys. Um, so I think that's what's going to happen. Um, it's kind of a smart business decision because you got to think if people are, are playing, you know, Ubisoft games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla through PlayStation Plus, um, when it gets taken off and Ubisoft bring their streaming service out, you know, you're going to be left with the option. Do I go out and do I buy the game directly from uh, their store um, or do I just re subscribe to Ubisoft Plus and continue playing it like that? I think, you know, that's how they get you, you know. Um, a bit like other streaming services, you know, like when Netflix had all of the Disney um, Marvel shows and movies and that. And now, obviously, um, you know, you might have started it when it was on Netflix. And now it's like if you want to re continue watching it, you'd have to get Disney Plus. Um, you know, a lot of companies are doing this, bringing up their own streaming services because they know if you've already started watching or playing it, you know, you're going to have to subscribe to their version and to continue doing it um that's one of the things you know streaming has over um you know physical media does have over streaming is is if you own something you don't have to worry about it being moved around um and stuff like that so um but what have i been watching recently well i've been watching a bit of wrestling and things here um and there i was going to i tried to watch a film on full moon last night but it kept disconnecting um i noticed it a couple of weeks uh, the last time i watched it it was doing it as well um, I think my fire stick might be on its way out, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what's going on with Full Moon Features. Um, it's not the most stable of apps, like I did say in my review um, for it. But, you know, it kind of sucks. But hey-ho, what can you do? You know, I've got plenty of other things to watch and play um, in the meantime. Um, I, I'm on, like, season, nearly season 10 of SpongeBob, so I've only got three more seasons of that to go. Um, I'm still waiting on three things to turn up. I'm waiting on my Halloween Rob Zombie DVD, Motel Motel, and um, the Scooby-Doo Where uh, Where Are You Complete Season 1 and 3, uh, 2 um, DVD as well, which I ordered yesterday. Should be coming today. Um, my Two Pints of Lager and um, Moonwalker turned up yesterday, so when the other three turn up, I'll do it in a updated, you know, small pickups video type thing. Um, I've heard that, you know, the, the Scooby-Doo season three was never released on DVD, um, and there were some specials and uh, specials and things that were never released. Um, so I've got to take what you can get, <laughs> uh, get into Scooby-Doo, because I recently got that Scooby-Doo movies, um, which was a continuation of the original show. So, you know, well, at least I'll be able to check out the original show. Um, I believe they are on like HBO Max and stuff, but we haven't got that in the UK yet. Whether or not we're going to get HBO Max in the UK, I don't know. Um, I think we won't yet because obviously Sky and HBO are sort of like that. So um, I think Sky are basically trying to delay HBO Max as much as possible because they know that they'll lose a lot of, um, you know, subscribers and people will probably be cancelling their Sky package, you know, and, and things like that because HBO will be like, you've got all of our, you know, Game of Thrones and all of that on there. So, um, 
I, I don't think we'll be getting HBO Max anytime soon. Um, I, I do want it, you know, in the UK because it's got Cartoon Network and, and stuff like that on there and obviously Game of Thrones and things. But you you got to take what you can get, you know. I think it's also because we have Now TV and a lot of HBO stuff is on Now TV as well. Um, so it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to go and chill today. Um, you know, my partner was away yesterday. Uh, and she won't be back till later on this evening with my son. So I had the weekend to myself. I didn't go away this weekend. I'm, 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 I'm around. I'm, I'm active at about eighty percent now. Feeling a bit better now, as you can see. I'm still feeling a little bit of it, but I'm not. It's not affecting me um, on a day to day basis now. It's just the a little bit here and there, you know. But for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. And hopefully this time next week we should be back to a hundred percent. Um, I've never been a hundred percent anyway, as you can see in my eyes, my um, I'm, I, I don't sleep great and stuff like that. So, um, but tonight I'm gonna watch um, Meet the Spartans um, on Blu-ray, um, a, a dumb movie. Um, I, I can't really tell you what big movies I've watched recently. Um, I'll probably do, you know, like I said, I like to do these recent movie videos in it, you know, in its own video. So I'd wait till I do that. Um, so I'm going to watch a movie in a minute on Troma. Um, now I'm going to watch a movie called Club Lingerie. It sounds cheesy and stupid, so why not? And then I'm going to start Dragon Ball Z Kakarot tonight. Hopefully I enjoy it. Uh, let me know, of course, guys. So, um, like I said, I'll probably get some videos done this week. I don't think I've got too much going on this week. Um, I know, um, tomorrow I think we're getting the bedroom sorted, ready for the baby. Uh, getting the cot up and that um and i think tuesday we've got the hospital uh for some scans and and, and consultations with my partner i think it will be like the last thing before um and then um i think possibly um next week um i'll get some videos done probably do that um top five things i'd like to see from star wars battlefront 3 if they make a star wars battlefront 3 um, and a few other videos. I've got my top. I'm 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 gonna work on doing a top twenty, my top twenty comedy movies of all time. Uh, maybe stuff like that. Do some more top lists and things. Um, I don't think we'll be getting any more proper pickups videos now. Um, it's getting closer to Christmas and things. So I think any money that I get from now on will be going towards you know Christmas presents and things. Um, you know that's why I said this pickups. Um, that I've done over these past few days. It would probably just be things like that now, just the occasional um, thing off uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that every now and then. Um, I, the, the, like I said, the Dragon Ball Z was my last big purchase. You know, nearly 70 quid that cost me, but I, I you know, basically worked out um, just under a, about six, seven pound per season, which, which isn't bad really when you think about it. Um, considering you know cex charged like nearly 20 pounds per season um so i i think that's a good deal um but um but i've done, I've, I've wrote all my lists on my phone now i've got a list of everything i want to watch on each of my streaming services my blu-rays and dvds and things so i'm going by that but anyway guys i think i'm going to leave it here now I'm going to quickly do my two mobile games and I'm going to watch this film and chill for the rest of the day. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and comment below. Um, let me know what you've been watching recently, playing recently. Let me know, do you get any burn from playing video games? Um, what what games uh, do you... I do play Overwatch 2. Um, if you want to play Overwatch 2 with me, just hit me up. My Blizzard account is the Mad Kaiga, same as my YouTube account. Um, like I said, if I'm online and I'm playing Overwatch 2, feel free to um, send me an invite or a message and let me know if you want to play. I'm normally on, um, if I am playing it in the morning, like I said, every other day, it would normally be from anywhere between 8 o'clock to about 10 o'clock. And then in the, uh, the afternoon from about three o'clock till about half five. So that's normally when I'm on, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll be happy to play some stuff. So as always, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mad Tiger. And have a nice day. See you next time.